Hi Virgo, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming to my channel. If you're returning, I love you so much. For my newbies, please make sure you subscribe, join the family, like, comment, and share. For everybody, my website will be ready next week. Um, I'm so excited to launch this website. I have a lot of amazing ideas for all of us to come together um, and, and communicate with each other and work with each other on this healing process. Um, it's taken a little bit longer because my 13 year old daughter, um, <clears throat> she's in the eighth grade and they just happen to be um, learning how to design websites in her class right now at school. So it's very important to her that she's a part of this process with me, which I just think is so lovely and adorable because um, I've really been focusing on my relationship with her as my older child, but now we're getting personal. Um, so I'm just really excited. So I'm waiting for her to come home. She's with her dad this weekend and she just wants to look over my website and help me, you know, make some final decisions. So I'm very excited though to launch this website with you guys. There will be a membership program. It is free to become a member, but members will be receiving um, uh, consistent discounted prices on readings. Okay, so with that being said, um, for the newbies, my readings are designed to help you gain a higher perspective of understanding the cycles that you may be going through or experiencing right now in your life. Which cycles do you need to release? or continue to work on, okay? I will be reading this as an intimate love connection. It may relate to you on another level, all right? So, and what I mean by that is friendship, business, family. All right, let's get going. Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in a love connection in March, 2020. I ask that these messages provide clarity, enlightenment, inspiration, healing, understanding, and guidance, as well as a higher perspective of understanding which karmic cycles they are currently going through and may need to work on and or release, that in turn bring them closer to their inner life, which in turn brings them to a closer relationship with you, Lord. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, let's see. Holy Spirit, what's the current energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in a love connection? March 2020. Current energy surrounding Virgo in a love connection. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. There could be somebody here who has an addiction. Now, let's talk about this. Addiction does not mean um, a narcotic or alcohol. Of course, it could. And if you know that, then there you go. If you're like, no, that's not there, you need to look at something else. Could be work, gambling, okay, sex addictions. Uh, but there is a codependency here. It could even be attachment issues, okay? Um, and what I mean by attachment issues is one of the hardest karmic lessons and cycles for us to learn that we all collectively go through at one point or another in our life is to learn how to be detached while in a relationship. We are taught from the moment we are born that being attached is not an issue. It is an issue. Attachment causes all relationships to fail. Okay. So really take a look at your situation here. We also have children, romantic feelings, free yourself and flirt. You could have children with this person or you each have children. You could have your own children. They have their own children. There are children involved in this connection that affects how this connection or relationship works. I feel that you guys both have um, very deep romantic feelings for each other. It is worth finding out um, how deep they run is what Spirit is saying. It is worth looking into these feelings, okay? But they're asking you to be more lighthearted, okay? Flirt, be playful, don't be so serious. I have free yourself here. <clears throat> Are somewhere you're allowing some somewhere Virgo you are um, you're like running in a circle with something okay 
This is what I'm seeing. You're running in a circle, you're trapped. You might have a lot of negative thoughts going through your mind and you might not even realize it. So um, it's what Spirit is saying is it's time for you to take back control of your life. Where are you allowing your boundaries to be violated? Do you even know what your boundaries are? Have you sat alone with yourself and really connected with yourself and determined what is mandatory for you in a connection? What boundaries do you have for yourself? What do you, what do you, how do you need to be treated? What do you absolutely have to have in a connection? And what do you absolutely not want to have in a connection? There's something here that is allowing you to lose control of a certain aspect in your life, okay? So let's go a little bit deeper and see what the Holy Spirit has to say. Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel and receiving messages. What does Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus feel the issues are with this person? What are the issues that Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 2020 has with this person? It's so funny because sometimes when I'm shuffling, I either will see the image of breaking the deck, which lets me know to stop, or I'll literally hear a whisper in my ear say, cut the deck. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, okay, so the sun overall. Freedom? Ah, free yourself. You do feel stuck. Or maybe you feel that this person needs to like loosen up a little bit or be more liberated. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. This is so like, wow. And it even, okay, this is so funny because the bottom of the deck is exactly what I was going to say. Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups. It explains everything here. And here you are, Virgo. Um, two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Okay, there's a struggle in this connection with balance. Each of you has too much going on. I'm getting the energy of a workaholic, King of Pentacles. I am getting the feeling though, which is crazy because Virgos are known to be a workaholic, but maybe this other person is a workaholic as well. And I feel that it's like this person, you guys have this great connection, but somebody keeps blocking the ability to turn this into something stable, okay? Could be dealing with another earth sign here. You don't have to be. But it's like the issue is you can't move forward. You guys are stuck in a cycle. You're stuck in a circle. Why? So it's giving you this energy and this feeling that this person isn't serious. That's why we have the Knight of Wands. It's like, you guys, Three of Pentacles, you guys want this to move somewhere very stable, but for some reason you can't, you can't get it off the ground. Why is the Two of Pentacles here with the Two of Swords? Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Queen. Wow. I feel like you guys are your own worst enemy in this connection. I do. It's establishing something here. You guys are trying, you guys are building something, but, but not willing to move from the single aspect. Why? That, this is so bizarre. That's going to give me the page of, it's like every time you guys, okay, so two of pentacles, nine of pentacles gives me the page of pentacles. It's like the offer is there, <clears throat> but it's not really discussed. It's not really talked about, but you both know the offer is there. You both know that you have these similar feelings. But it's also too small. The offer is too small for somebody. They are like, I need more. Two of Swords with the King of Pentacles, please. Holy Spirit, Two of Swords with the King of Pentacles. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, which gives me back the two. Okay, it's taking too long. Somebody's getting really impatient. They're blocking it. They're they're like, they're not sure with the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom and the Three of Pentacles, which I keep talking about. 
you guys, there's an issue here. You guys want, you guys know that this is your person. And I feel this person knows that too. But the issue is why can't you move forward? Because this other person is coming in as the Knight of Wands. They're coming in only when they want something. They're, I feel like this is a very passionate um, sexual connection here. Like maybe you're just seeing them when they have time to have sex. Truthfully, that's why we have the Knight of Wands. Um, it's not that they don't care. It's not that they're using you. I almost feel like they just don't know how to be anything else. Holy Spirit, what is this other person's true intentions? What is this other person's true intentions with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is this other person's true intentions with Virgo, March 2020, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Ten of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. They want to work on something with you, but it's taking too long. Do they keep ghosting you or is communication like just not the best? You guys are faded. There's a lot of love here. What is this person's true intentions with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh my gosh, you guys really, four of wands, 10 of pentacles, their true intentions with you is they want a family with you. The fool, strength, three of wands, four of pentacles. Oh, they love you. We have Leo energy here. They wanna start something new, but do they have the strength? They don't know, they're thinking about it. They're so scared. This person doesn't open up. This person, Look how much happiness you bring them though. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups. They know you're the one, but it's like they just don't know. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know the hanged one. Okay, Virgo. It scares them how intense their feelings are for you. And they're trying to figure out, how am I going to open up? They're gonna fight for this though. It's like they don't ever let go. They never let go of this connection. I feel that no matter what you guys have been through, they don't wanna let go. And they're like, okay, I'm trying to figure, there could be distance, you guys may live apart. For some of you, cause I have the three of wands, it's a very long distance connection. Okay, we have Leo energy here, let's see. Why is strength here with the three of wands? The truth is they're strategizing how to get to you. Strength in the three of wands. They don't know how to open up though. They don't want you to leave, but they're afraid to speak their truth. Leo and the three of wands, please. Strength in the three of wands. What did I say? Knight of cups. They're gaining up the courage to really tell you what they want. Judgment. The truth is Virgo. I'm terrified to let you go. I'm terrified of this connection. I need to take a leap of faith with the universe, but I don't know how. That's what this is. This person is so scared to open up, so scared to be vulnerable, and they may be coming off like they're coming. Yes, that's what this is. They're making you think that they just wanna be this, the running in and out, nothing serious, nothing stable. And that is not true. The issue for you is you think that they are not emotional about you, that they don't have feelings for you and that they don't want this to go anywhere. And I'm telling you, that just is not the truth here. Holy Spirit, what does this person feel like the issue is with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does this person feel like the issue is with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does the person feel like this issue is with Virgo, March 2020? Four of Wands was their overall energy. What is the issue here? 
you may be, do you jump to conclusions very quickly with this person? I think so. They don't like that. They feel like you're too quick in the mind. Ace of Swords, Two of Wands, Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. The issue is, yeah, there's a lot of negative thoughts here, eight, nine, causing a lot of anxiety. There's a fear of rejection here with this person. They need to make a decision and they know that. I feel... The issue is they're struggling with making this decision. They're very, it has to do with their home life. Again, you guys could have children or they really want to be with you. This this is, the thing is Virgo, they know that once they're with you, they're with you. They know that this is something that is gonna turn into a family thing, marriage, living together. But they're very focused on some, some pain from the past. Three of Cups, something has happened. Let me see. I wanna do these individual, please, Spirit, not as a group. Why is the Two of Wands here? They're allowing negative thoughts and fear to get in the way of this connection. Nine of Swords, like I said, Two of Wands. They are so nervous to make a final decision because what if you reject them? What if you turn them down? Traveling, they could want to move towards you. What if you turn them down? Why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, they feel like you're not, you don't want this. So they're, they're coming out, they're hiding their true feelings. Seven of Pentacles. They're waiting for a, a stronger sign here. They're waiting for a stronger sign here that lets them know that it's okay for them to talk to you, but they're so sad that you're just gonna be like, no. Um, you guys have had some issues with ghosting or bad communication in the past, okay? There could have been here, I'm seeing the Two of Pentacles. We saw the Two of Pentacles up here. Maybe there was another person. Maybe there was um, an, a, a balance, an off balance of some sort that caused, it doesn't mean that there was another person, but there was a lack of balance in this connection that was causing somebody to think that they weren't the only one. Holy Spirit, what is the final outcome of this connection for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Final outcome of this connection, March 2020, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Wheel of Fortune, Patience. This is divine timing. Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Taurus energy here, the Empress and Judgment. They wanna bring healing to this connection. I'm telling you, this person wants to marry you. You guys may live apart, you don't live together. There was a period of separation. You guys may not have been talking, okay? But they want to come out of this period. They want to build something with you. The truth is coming. The truth is they see you as the, the, the person that they want to be with. They know that they can grow here with you. But they're like I said, there's a separation here. They're wanting to bring healing to this. You guys may have been married before. You guys could have been engaged even. Five of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Did they, they broke your heart. There was a separation, 100%. That's why the Five of Pentacles is here with the Hierophant. They moved out. You moved out. They really don't know. It's They're taking their time. Maybe they feel like, you know what? That's what it is. They feel like too much time has passed, Virgo. They feel like it's been, it's been too long. And even though I love this person and I think they love me, they really feel like you're going to turn them down. Five of Pentacles with the Hierophant, please. Five of Pentacles with the hair font, please. Virgo. 
they're so worried that you're gonna turn them down. Isolation, they, that they are struggling with telling you how they feel. They're gonna take this very, 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 very slow. Very slow. Are you patient? Are you patient, Virgo? Because God's telling you they're coming, but you need to relax. You need to allow this person to, to grow into themselves, okay? Now, if you felt that this reading resonates with you and you'd like a personal reading, please check the Etsy link below. If not, I will see you guys soon. Love you so much. Bye.